Hey guys, it's Mike Chin. And before we jump into this topic, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, The Great Courses Plus, and the course Mysteries of Modern Physics Time that actually helped me a lot in my research for this video. So please go check out The Great Courses Plus. It's extremely interesting and a great way to support this channel. Time travel has been a hot topic in the past few years. Maybe it's because we finally got to see what it's really like on October 21st, 2015, or it could be because of mysterious yet to be explained photos like this one making its way around the internet. But it's safe to say that the concept of time travel is no longer regarded as just fiction. In fact, prominent scientists like Einstein and Stephen Hawking have already stated that it is possible to travel through time. And if you're curious as to how, well, here's a few ways you can actually do it. Number one, by traveling at the speed of light. This was first theorized by Albert Einstein, who says that time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to something else. So let's say you are able to build a spaceship that can travel at or near the speed of light or become Superman. Then when you approach the speed of light, time slows down for you relative to those who are still on Earth because time itself is measured differently for the moving object than the unmoving object. Object. Going at the speed of light is a great way to travel to the future, but unfortunately it does not allow you to travel to the past. Next, you can time travel through a wormhole. You often see in sci-fi movies spaceships traveling through wormholes. Wing Commander, anybody? Am I the only one who liked that movie? Anyway, traveling through wormholes theoretically could work. In 1935, Albert Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen proposed that bridges between space-time exists, and they are called Einstein-Rosen bridges or wormholes that theoretically connect two different points in space-time. But the problem is, we are not 100% sure that wormholes actually exist, because we've never discovered one before. But let's say they do exist. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, wormholes could, like I mentioned before, connect two different points in space-time. Certain wormholes could also allow for time travel to the future war past if somehow we could speed up one end of the wormhole to light speed and then revert it back to its original position. This would cause time for the end of the wormhole traveling at light speed to slow down. Now again, the problem is no wormhole has ever been discovered, and even if we find one, they measure just a billion trillion trillionth of a centimeter across. Far too small for us to manipulate, and they are incredibly unstable. Number three, black holes. Black holes are another way you can time travel, but again, only into the future. According to, again, Einstein's theory of general relativity, if there is a strong gravitational field and if there is a clock inside that field, then someone on the outside looking in will see that the clock inside the strong gravitational field ticking more slowly. What this means is that if you were traveling into a strong gravitational field such as a black hole, you would age more slowly than those who are on the outside. And in principle, if you could somehow get within a few millimeters of an event horizon, which is the point of no return, or a border of a black hole that if you cross, you will be sucked in with no hopes of ever getting out. So again, if you could somehow get close to an event horizon and escape before crossing it, then you could essentially time travel years or millennia into the future as measured by outside clocks. Oh, also event horizon. One of the scariest movies I've ever seen in my life. Number four, cosmic strings. Of course, traveling to the future would be awesome, but I would also want to go to the past and maybe play some bets. Cosmic strings were thought to have formed billions of years ago right after the Big Bang, and researchers believe they can warp space-time around them. According to life science, the approach of two such strings parallel to each other will bend space-time so vigorously and in such a particular configuration that it might make time travel possible. Cosmic strings are often described as cracks in the universe. These string-like objects are supposed to be thinner than an atom and may weave through the entire universe. They are also supposed to possess a massive gravitational pull, thus allowing any objects attached to the strings to travel at super fast speeds. By utilizing the gravity produced by pulling two cosmic strings together, you could theoretically propel yourself into the past. Number five, Tipler cylinder. 
wonder. In 1974, Dr. Frank Tipler, a mathematical physicist at Tulane University, published a paper titled Rotating Cylinders and the Possibility of Global Causality Violation. In the paper, Tipler showed that in a space-time containing a massive, infinitely long cylinder, rotating it longitudinally along the length of its axis at a velocity approaching half the speed of light, the cylinder should create a frame-dragging effect. This effect bends space-time into a curved loop, causing the light cones of objects near the effect to warp. At that point, some of the cones points backwards instead of forwards in time. Therefore, a spacecraft accelerating sufficiently in the appropriate direction can travel backwards through time along a closed time-like curve. But unlike most other time travel methods, Tipler's cylinder only allows one to travel back in time. So maybe catch a black hole to the future and then ride Tipler's cylinder back. And finally, suspended animation. Another way to time travel may be to just take the vanilla sky approach and slow or stop your own bodily processes and then start them back up again years or decades later. This is something we often see in sci-fi movies, especially when people are traveling through space and go into some sort of hibernation chamber and wake up after the spaceship reaches its destination decades or hundreds of years later. Although currently we are not able to get even remotely close to the hibernation chambers in the movies, NASA is conducting research in that direction. This year, NASA is developing a hibernation chamber that will put humans to sleep for up to 14 days. That may seem like a very small amount of time, but I guess it's a start. But let me ask you guys this. Let's say this technology is perfected and you can choose to go into hibernation for as long as you want, which means you can see and live in the future. Would you do it? Of course, that means everyone in your life, unless they're also going into hibernation, they're gonna die. Also, you won't really know what the future holds or if there's a future at all. But you know what? I think I would do that. Here's what I would do. I would invest in a bunch of startup companies and then wake up every decade or so and see how they're doing. If they failed, then invest in some more and then go back to sleep. And you keep doing this until you wake up one day and you own like 10% of the next Facebook. But I have a feeling, and of course, I don't know if this is true or not, I have a feeling that time travelers already exist. But guys, if you like the topic of time and time travel or ancient history or aliens or basically everything else I talk about on this channel, then definitely check out this subscription on demand video learning service that I'm partnered up with on this video called The Great Courses Plus. As I mentioned last time, I rarely include promotions in my videos, but I tried out this service for a while and I really love it. The Great Courses Plus has lectures and courses from top top professors from Ivy League colleges and other awesome places like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian, the Culinary Institute of America. Whatever you want to learn, they pretty much have a course about it. A couple courses I would really recommend is Understanding the Mysteries of Human Behavior by Professor Mark Leary and Mysteries of Modern Physics Time, where time travel is discussed in greater detail. And you'll have unlimited access to around 7,000 video lectures. So if you're interested and really want to help support this channel, then please visit visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash beyond science and you're gonna get a free one month trial and after that plans start around $14.99 per month but you get a whole month to try this out for free at no risk so why not so I have that link for you guys in my description box as well so click on that and start your free trial hopefully you guys can check it out thank you all so much for watching this video I'll see you later